with Brian Dawkins, a loss of two. Brian Dawkins, hey, what did we hear this week here in Philadelphia? Too old, can't get it done. Not in the films I watch. Nice job on the outside, just blitzing. Blitzing is about spacing your defense, and it's about timing the step down of the quarterback. Safety. Brian Dawkins on the first one now. Michael makes his second tackle. Aggressive safety for the foot team defense. Good combination. Only picked up first on third down two out of ten times. And it's deafening as Jeff Lurie, the owner of the Eagles, applauds. Luke Miller lined up flanking the quarterback to the left. Noel Moore on the right side of Roethlisberger. Did they get to him again? That's a pass. If it's ruled, a, well, we're still waiting. Is it going to be ruled a pass or a fumble? After last week, they're going to wait. Now there's a flag thrown like it's intentional grounding, which would be a safety. That's what it is, intentional grounding. Woo, woo. There, but once again, the speed of the defense doesn't allow him to make plays outside the pocket. They call it intentional grounding. It's a two-point safety. Let's see if there was a receiver here to throw. The ruling on the field is quarter ball. There was no eligible play in the area. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage. The play was also taken. There you go. You know what? He was outside the pocket. The ball was deflected. Tomlin's fuming. Yeah, let's let's watch. This is, you're right. He's outside the pocket. Outside the hash marks. The ball was deflected. Of course it didn't get past the line of scrimmage. That was Trent Cole dragging him down. Is this something that can be challenged? Can, can Tom would say, wait a minute, that was, he was attempting a pass here. Yes, it can be. That's who he's throwing it to right there. Ha <laughs> ha! He's going to stand as a safety. Intentional grounding, they say, cannot be reviewed. Hello. That's why Tomlin's so upset. Pointing out that Moore was in the area. From the 27, the run back. It's Jackson, he got away. Oh! Oh! But not for long. Oh. Covered up by Anthony Madison. Let's see if he's down, Jim, before he lets it go, even if they could have replayed this. 
I think there was a good chance of that, but they didn't call that. I think you could say that it's down, 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 down. definitely down, but they didn't call that on the field. No, but you can call that in a replay if they wouldn't have called it to the ground. Understand? Yeah, I do, but I don't think Tomlin has any handle on that. I don't think no. he, he understands that that could have been ruled a safety anyway if it's been under review, if it was, in fact, challengeable in the first place. Got a half quarter to go, and that Eagles defense continues to shine and increases that lead to 12-6. A little shotgun on first down. That'll go long. Incomplete. Reggie Brown with McFadden on the coverage. Next Sunday, we've got regional action on CBS. Early, then we'll see the Browns and the Bengals. Or the Broncos and Chiefs. And most of you will see the Chargers and the Raiders in that 405 Eastern Time slot. It all begins, of course, with the NFL today. JB Dan, Shannon and Boomer, and Coach Coward. The NFL today at 12 noon Eastern Time. I had a chance yesterday to visit with the first ever host of the NFL today. The great man, Jack, Jack Whitaker. Whitaker, yes. That is awesome. He wears his hat. One of the voices is Super Bowl one. Nope, not yesterday. Second down and ten. Greg Lewis. Ward, third down coming up. Again, you keep saying, wait a minute, this Eagles defense is just impenetrable, but Pittsburgh is a play away. Uh, yes. That's what I keep saying. This Eagles offense, you look at it, you go, okay, try to use some clock, but they're a throwing football team. Their star running back is out. So they're going to put the, the game in the hands of Jonathan McNabb. That's what you do. Let your best player win or lose it for you. Third down and six. They seal the pocket. Yes, with the big toss. Wow, Olamamu lowers the boom, but Basket holds on for 12 yards and the first down. Protection, time, space for the quarterback, and a strike just ripped it across the middle right into the body of the receiver so even the hit by Troy Polamalu cannot knock the football loose basket with a career high eight grabs undrafted and signed as a rookie free agent several years back they signed mostly as a special teams player and a part-time receiver until this year but Coulter take off a couple of hits, including one by Woodley. It's a short gain of about two. You know, Jim, just talking to Donovan McNabb, just talking two weeks in a row, I've heard it from a quarterback, and it makes so much sense. He said, we've gone back to our basic offense, basic plays, and you know them so well. Brett Favre said the same thing last week. When you know them really well, you become very instinctive as a quarterback. And we've seen that a few times today. He's looking around the field, one to the right, to the middle, and just fires footballs to the left because he knows what the guys are going to do. He's done it a thousand times. Ryan Ward hoping his team can stay within one score. And trying to drive the Eagles. Look, down the middle and incomplete. Looking back at Greg Lewis. McFadden and Polamalu. Polamalu flying all over the field. Take the, the Steelers defense, watch Troy Polamalu, 43, reading the quarterback. I got him deep, I got him short. When in doubt, hit something. For those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS, Steelers and Eagles. Jim Nance and Bill Sims with the call. They'll be leading at 12-6, 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety after the game, except on the West Coast. We'll get it at your normal time. Third down play on the way and a big one. 5.48 to go. Third and nine. And yeah, yeah. Too high. And the Steelers will get the ball back. Looking for Jason Avant. Coverage was there. 